Welcome back to The Daily Show. So, let's turn our attention once again to Brett Kavanaugh, Supreme Court nominee and man experiencing every stage of grief but acceptance. <laughs> At his big hearing last week, Kavanaugh yelled, he fought with senators, he even broke down crying. Like, if he was at a bar, they probably would have asked him to leave. <laughs> Luckily, Kavanaugh wasn't at a bar for once. He was in Congress. <laughs> so despite his performance, the Senate was still ready to send his hysterical ass straight to the Supreme Court until one key Republican senator had a major change of heart and demanded that the FBI step in. Cornered in an elevator moments after announcing his initial plan to support Brett Kavanaugh's nomination, Senator Jeff Flake listening to Ana Maria Archia of Queens sharing her story of surviving sexual assault. This is not tolerable. You have children in your family. Many are now speculating this confrontation persuaded Flake to call for the one week pause in the vote. I do think that we can. Uh, have a short pause and, and make sure that the FBI can investigate. Wow. I'm not surprised, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. I'm, I'm honestly not surprised that Jeff Flake changed his mind, because if you watch that full video of the protester addressing him in the elevator, you would have seen how powerful that moment was. Like, I bet even when Jay-Z watched that video, he was like, damn, I thought my elevator ride was, was crazy, <laughs> but this was... This is intense. <laughs> and now, I, I, I've seen some people saying that, you know, Senator Jeff Flake didn't go far enough. But I honestly say kudos to the man for taking this extra step and involving the FBI. Because you realize if it weren't for him right now, there's a good chance Brett Kavanaugh would be a Supreme Court justice as we speak. Yeah. So kudos. Mm.